Welcome to another episode of Rochdale to Glory, the series where we take Rochdale all the way from the EFL League 2 up to the Premier League and eventual Champions League winners. Today we're going to be taking on some more games here and maybe making a few transfers. We'll have to see what we get. First match of the day against Newport County here. They are on zero points and we are on four points because we've had a fantastic first game and then a decent second game against Bradford City where we came back from a 3-0 deficit to tie 3-3 and get ourselves a point. But today against Newport County, they're coming out in a 5-3-2. They don't want any goals scored, so hopefully we can ruin their day. They got Townsend in net, Lewis Dolan, Drysdale, Clark, Norman in the back line, Wildig, Odopo, Owen, Zanzala, and Collins are the remaining players on the team. Let's go and see if we can win this game at home. See if Siriki can do anything. And Nelson, great interception there. Fantastic read. All right, Carlos. All right, Elliot List, he's in. He's past the defender. A shot and a banger. Top left corner. Let's gritty on them. Hit him with it. Ten minutes in. Not hanging with us today, Newport. Uh-uh. No way. Right past the goalie. A beautiful shot of Elliot List. Missed his head there, but, you know. <laughs> oh, great steal by Rodney. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's see Elliot List go through. Rodriguez. Oh, a wonderful pass. Let's finesse it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, and he kicks it back into the net. My goodness. All right, we're going to take some of these guys out. We'll give Mally a shot here. Let's go ahead and put Diagraga in. Um, I'll swap out Odo for Pollock there, and then Sinclair is going to come out for Campbell. I think this should be a pretty good overall. These should be good changes. That's four of our five changes. We've got one in the bag if we need it. He wants Mally. Can we get Mally? And Mally! Connor Malley, can he gritty on them? <laughs> hey. My goodness. The young lad gets his opportunity and he just smashes it home. This five back is really looking more like a one back. Good interception by Tullock. And Campbell might be in. Pen. It's red. Give him a red. I don't know if I want Elliot List to take this. I'm going to go down and give this to main man, Diaguraga. And he slots it home. Tumani Diaguraga, the speedster. He slides. I don't know how he got any speed on that slide, but I will absolutely take that for today's game. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in terms of stats. And a great game overall by our front Three so far, you know, Campbell, Sinclair, and List. Good game by Mally. Great by Rodriguez as well. Rodney held it down. Tolek could have played a little bit better. Odo played decent. The Garaga got his goal. And a great showing by our defensive line there. I don't know how Ben Nelson only got 7.0. He was everywhere. He had four interceptions, and it felt like he had 50 interceptions. He was everywhere. He was everywhere he needed to be and everywhere he should be. He's been playing fantastic. I would not be surprised if we, if he keeps playing like this, we're going to keep him around. And since we already have him here from Leicester, I think it would be really easy to keep him around. And we might actually, let's go ahead and take a look into that after we check our emails. So Brad Kelly has been sold 45,000 euros into our bucket. Tavon Campbell gets an offer here. Now that's interesting. Because we do have Rodney out on the wing, I don't think his price is really worth letting him go over. I don't think it is. And we're going to see Guillermo Ochoa come in. <laughs> one, one great head of hair meets another great head of hair. This should be a head and shoulders commercial. Never not working. All right, so this has to be... Okay, this is Brad Kelly leaving. 75 k 110 best possible deal. I'm interested to see what they give us for this rating. One great head of hair leaves today. Other uh, stays. This dude's crazy. He's wearing a suit jacket, a white t-shirt, joggers, <laughs> pink running shoes with a blonde beard and a blue hair. Wow. Jagionia, 900,000 euros. Let's see what this rating is. We got an A on that, which is huge. Great deal. 940 is the best possible. 
Well, we got the max out of that. That's really interesting. We are coming in at second place just behind Mansfield Town. They are currently three wins, no draws, nine points, nine goals for, one goal against. That's incredible. Uh, we're doing pretty decent so far. We've got four goals allowed, which is not as bad as it could be. So eight, seven, or uh, and ten are the two worst that I, are all the worst that I see. So we're definitely in a pretty good spot so far. We've got seven points, eleven goals for, and four goals allowed, uh, with this plus seven goal differential, which is excellent. Looking at the player stats here, the top scorers in the EFL League 2, Elliot List with four goals in three games, which is being matched by O'Keefe from Gillingham, unfortunately. Rodriguez with three goals in three games. And I don't see Sinclair until the bottom at two goals with three three games. So pretty decent. And Diagaraga shows up with one goal in one game. So we love to see that. That's excellent. And let's see top assists. Yep, Elliot List and Tyree Sinclair, the top one and two. And that's all that it looks like we have for the assist leaders. But, man, four and three assists. Those two just play so well together. Rochdale, Guillermo Ochoa with one clean sheet already. He's got two games under his belt. That's fantastic. No red cards for us yet. We're going to come in with the 4-1-2-1-2 as per usual against the 4-4-2 of Crawley Town. Uh, Balcombe, Salarula, Conroy, Lynch, and Johnson all in the back. Aid San. Powell, Francombe, Chukwumeka on the right, Nicholas and Telford up top. I think this is a game we could definitely win, especially if those guys show up. All right, a great turnover by A.D. White. Elliot List gets the ball from a Tyree Sinclair who gets a buried back and a brilliant goal. One, two, finish. These boys can play. These boys can play. He kicks the flag just to say, hey, blue flag. Rayon Tullock is a little late to get to that ball. Crawley Town's passing it up. Ben Nelson's going to need to come over for some help. Oh, and a brilliant save by Ochoa. Tyrese Sinclair get out onto the ball. Let's get there, Medibo. Owen oh, Knezovic, ah, and good save by Guillermo Ochoa once again. We look like we're a bit exposed here. Knezovic. Oh, and Ochoa with a massive save, and he... Ooh, Ben Nelson almost screws us. And a wonderful header. A wonderful header by Crawley here. Ochoa stands his ground, firmly palms it out. Asim is on the ball. Oh, and a great cutout by Rodney there. But a poor pass. Asim is there. He's going to try and tackle, but he cannot. Rod oh, and Ochoa. Wonderful save. A strong chest out of play. Ben Nelson. This man. Wow. We need some more money because boy, oh boy, this kid. This kid can play. This kid can play. So we're going to really need to decide if we want to try and bring Siriki in full time. If we're going to try to bring Ben Nelson in full time. And what the heck we're going to do with any wingers and to be fair a decent option may just end up being bringing in para from the youth academy maybe we can find another maybe we can find a good winger midfielder somebody who can convert into a right mid par would be a cheap option only 500 500 euros a week 56 overall but he might be able to pan out into something good he'll be up into the high 70s as his max potential oh and a strong hand by ochoa this is huge we're going to need to stay. We need to hold on to this win. There we are. Oh, a great. Finds him through. And Sinclair gets the finisher. Come on. Brilliant piece of link-up play. This is probably the best FIFA I've played in a long time. <laughs> Wonderful link-up play between Elliot List, Tyree Sinclair, Carlos Rodriguez. Carlos could have taken that. He could have had himself the goal, but he's unselfish, gives it to Sinclair. And I think that means Sinclair is now above Elliot List in the goal scorer table. The team is buzzing right now. 8.6 from Tyree Sinclair, 7.3 and 7.4 for List Rodriguez. Rodney and Tolik held it down. Medibo played well. 
Kawan White played really well. Ebanks, it says he got a 6.0, probably from all the missed ta tackles that I made, but I think he played well. Knezevich, Knez Knezevich, Knezevich, God. Knezevich played well, 7.1, 6.9 for Ben Nelson, shockingly, and then 7.9 for Guillermo Ochoa. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and take Gabriel Ferreira here and turn him to a right back. I think that's probably the best option for us because it gives us an option in case Siriki ends up leaving. And more than likely, he's 16 years old, 59 overall. Stay at that 93 is his top potential. I think that would be fantastic for us because then we'd know that he can stay around for a long time and actually actually keep pace with Siriki and ultimately pass him. So I think he's got definitely somebody that's good to keep around. Aside from him, though, I think we're going to probably promote him. Uh, I'm interested in this endo me up here. Cardozo, he's probably going to get let go once we find a better keeper. A lot of these guys like Fabio Silva, uh, Adrian Castro, uh, Kasim probably will probably just get let go. I think Reiko Pata could actually come into the squad and we could end up loaning him out. So we're going to ha go ahead and just promote the lad here. See, Let's check his development plan first, how long it would take to turn him to a right mid nine weeks so we're going to go ahead and convert him to a right mid uh, and then we're going to go and promote him to the senior team welcome to the squad rico para hope you enjoy your time with us and i'm picking this up next morning i was really tired last night but today we are feeling fresh we're ready a 7:45 p.m kickoff for rochdale versus southampton in the carabao cup so we got mccarthy in the back and goal for them perud bella kacha salisu and livermento in the back el Yunusi, skip Ward Prost, Armstrong in the middle, Aribo and Armstrong as the last two for Southampton. It's going to be a tough game. We're going to have rain today. Let's see if we can win this game at home. We need it. We got Sinclair making that run. Oh, he's in through. Oh, a brilliant touch. Let's see if he can smash a near post. A great shot. We are in. We have scored. There has been a point. Rochdale is in the lead. What a beautiful little flick there from the outside of the foot. And an easy near post shot. It wasn't even, it looked like it curved out and then went right back in. A great shot by Tyree Sinclair. Fantastic. 1-0. Let's get it. Oh, and Memo comes up with the huge save. And a wonderful pass. Wow, they are just clipping along here. Oh, and a terrible turnover. But Memo Ochoa comes out for the cross there. Nezovic gets passed by like it's nothing. Ball comes in. Oh, and they slot it right into the bottom corner. Our defense was all out of whack there. I'm not really too sure where Siriki was. They definitely had us there. Jimmy Kwan's just a step too late. Nezovic. Memo Ochoa keeps it in, it seems. And that's the end of the half. Overall, pretty good game. We ended up letting them come back there at the stroke of halftime. Oh, and a great one-handed save by Memo Ochoa. We were all in disalignment there. That was not that was not a good look. They're passing it along the outside. Ebanks gets cooked and he's just in. Oh, and he's running around. What were we doing here? He's on, he just takes it over into a little bit of space. And Ebanks and Jimmy just get a little bit unorganized there in the back. That's unfortunate. Oh, fine tackle by Siriki. Oh, and a good save by Memo. He's really trying, he's trying to keep us in it. Oh, and a weak shot comes in and Ochoa is able to get that cleanly. Oh, and a good two-handed save by Memo Ochoa. Memo, good save. Oh, and that's going to be the game probably. Oh, no. We just have to perform better than that. A terrible overall performance. Tyree Sinclair is the, the only bright side, and Memo played really well. So Ricky played well, and Azovic and Ebanks, that's the combination. Debo played basically irrelevant. Elliot List wasn't there. Rodney wasn't either. Pollock and Rodney, just not, not what we needed, unfortunately. So we get knocked out of the Carabao Cup. You hate to see that. That's really frustrating. That being said, our next game against Leighton Orient will be coming in the next episode, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Please leave a like, subscribe. If you did enjoy, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Say, hey, today it's sunny and this episode sucked. 
I'd say, hey, thanks for the info. Glad it was sunny. <laughs> but hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in episode six. If you miss any other episodes, they are in a playlist on the channel. See you later, and always remember, up the rotch.